So in today's video, we're going to explore the nearest neighbor uh, classifier, uh, so the KNN. Um, we're going to go through a bit the, the theory, it's a simple algorithm. And then we'll see um, how to implement it using scikit-learn and uh, using um, just some regular Python. So over here you can see um, like the kind of decision boundary uh, that uh, a KNN classifier can do. If you contrast this with uh, um, a linear regression, uh, this is pretty um, like a, it's pretty linear. So here, um, how basically it work is that uh, for each uh, point, you will look at the 15 uh, nearest um, uh, neighbor, and then it will uh, do the average of what is the label. Uh, in this case, we're able to make a decision boundary. So it means that all the point over here will be labeled as orange and all the points over here will be labeled as blue except for this one which will be labeled as orange so the, like it doesn't have to be a line it can be like multiple um, blobs um, and here like this was for 15 nearest uh, neighbor if we look at one nearest neighbor it kind of look like this um, so it can be pretty irregular um, does that mean that this is the best way of uh, of uh, separating this uh, the, these two classes maybe not uh, this seems to uh, overfit a bit uh, to the, the data um, but the point here is that the nearest neighbor doesn't like uh, have much bias on the um, on the, the the underlying data however it has a high variance so it's it's prone to uh, um, to outliers so um, the nearest neighbor model doesn't really have a fitting kind of stage um, or a training stage. You just dump the data and then you will be able to um, um, to predict directly. There's no there's no fitting. However, the prediction, the more data you have, the, the longer it will it will take. Uh, while a um, model that usually have a training phase uh, takes um, the prediction phases is almost nothing. Um, so um, here, this is for a two class uh, problem. So what does this formula mean? This is how we're, we're um, uh, uh, putting a label on a new, let's say, input. Uh, uh, mk at x is the neighborhood of the x defined by the k closest point xi. So xi is the closest point which are uh, element to like the neighborhood. So you're iterating on all of the neighbor of xi defined by a metric, right? We're going to look at it afterward. But let's say you, you know what those closest points are. Uh, you look at their uh, y. Here, this is for a two class problem, zero and one. Uh, and then you take the average of all of them. So you have a bunch of zero, you have a bunch of ones, and then you divide by the number of k points that you have. And that will give you um, um, the label. Then you have a, just a thresholding. So if um, uh, y hat is bigger than 0 0.5, you give it a one. If it's smaller than 0 0.5, you give it a zero. Um, so this is how you do it. So if you have one point, you just look at the closest, and this will be the that you're gonna do. A, you're gonna do one divided by one, uh, so nothing. And then you sum like all the label. You have only one, so you give it this label. If you have 15, then you will do like the averaging. Um, so this is why this is more regular and uh, a bit cleaner uh, than this one, um, because you just look at what is the closest point. All right, so now that we know how we work, um, it's a simple algorithm, like I said, we're gonna just look at how to implement it uh, using scikit-learn and using um, a, 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 a from scratch implementation. So here um, I'm using the Iris dataset. Um, so it's a simple like flower kind of dataset with, um, I think it's four, yeah. So you have sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. And then you're trying to figure out what kind of flower it is. So we have a bunch of target. I think we have three, I'm not sure. Um, yes, you have one, two, three type of flower. So um, here we did the PCA to reduce the dimensionality from four to three. And we can see that it's kind of easy to separate them. Um, there is some overlap here, but um, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Like uh, the classification should not be too difficult. So um, what we're going to do here, we're gonna uh, do a train test split. So um, a, a third of the, the uh, data will be on the test and the rest will be the training. Um, there's no cross validation here just to, to check out if we were able to do something with it. Um, so the 
from psychic learn is kinda not too difficult. Did I run that? Yes. Okay. So uh, from psychic learn is not too difficult and the training is almost nothing. So you have the nearest neighbor, you, you say how many neighbor you want. So here I want only one. Um, here this thing is used for um, other type of um, um, uh, distance metric. Um, but in the in the case of the um, uh, Euclidean distance that we're going to see, it like you don't. I don't think you need that uh, very much. So you create a classifier and you fit it with the data. So here it's a training data, um, and then you just give it the test with the key neighborhood. Um, let's check it out actually. Yeah, the key neighbor. Yeah, this one. Um, you find the key neighbor of a point. So this is what it give you. Uh, so uh, there's no real predict. So you're just gonna give you like the points and it's up to you to uh, um, to figure out the, the whys uh, because you do have the whys. So um, this is what I get. I get the uh, neighborhood distance, the neighborhood indexes. So that will be the closest one. I know so it will be decreasing. Um, so what I'm doing over here is just um, like the data is um, is a bunch of array and here it's a one dimensional array so it's like a, a scalar within an array um, and then over here I'm uh, going into my white train and in this index to find what is the actual uh, value of it here this will only work with one neighbor because I don't it didn't do like the, the sum uh, but just to simplify um, this is what it looked like and after that I just calculate the accuracy with the white pred that I have and the white test and I get like 98%. Right, so what is actually going on? What's actually going on over here and over here because those two are the actual, um, the things that makes the nearest neighbor do something. Um, so if you look over here, this is my implementation. It's really short. There's nothing uh, really complicated over here and it's giving me the same exact result because nearest neighbor is very a simple um, algorithm. So the fitting, um, nothing is happening. I'm just taking my X and storing them, right? Um, that's that's all that is happening. So if you look, they have my class over here. I have my initialization, so my constructor. By default, I have two, but here I'm using one, putting putting them over there. And then my when I call my fitting function over here, I'm just taking the X and putting them there. And when I call my key neighbors. Um, like the, the, the algorithm is not too complicated. Here I'm gonna uh, return the indices, right? So I'm preparing my array and I'm returning it over here. And then I just iterate over all of the data points um, in my data set. Um, there's maybe like more cost efficient way of doing this. So uh, this will uh, behave poorly if I have like millions of data points, right? The prediction step will be really slow. But if the, the predict, if the, the setup is, is not that bad. Um, I don't need to do any like uh, fancy uh, uh, storing things. So here I'm preparing my distance kind of array and I'm just gonna like uh, accumulate all of the distance from all the points, right? From uh, the one that I'm um, testing out. So um, this is my input. So this is the, the test and I'm iterating over all of them. And then I'm iterating over all of the, the points that I've stored um, when I did the fit. So those is the points that I want to, uh, to check. So in this case, the X test. And those are the points that I have, which are the X train, basically. And what I'm doing for each X train, I'm um, uh, adding this distance to um, the, the distance array that I created. And what is this? big formula over here. Uh, this is just the Euclidean distance. Um, there's there's not there's nothing much um, over here. I'm just iterating over my X and the other X, right? So the current X in the X train and the uh, X uh, test over here. And then I'm iterating over them and I'm just uh, taking the, the difference uh, squared um, and I'm summing them. Uh, that's that's pretty much it there's there's not much um, I'm doing over there right and remember this is not one only one X it's multi-dimensional so it's a uh, uh, it's a it's a vector um, so this is a vector 
this is also a vector and this is a given uh, x so this is basically what I'm, I'm talking about so uh, this is one of my feature this is the other feature from the test let's say I'm uh, squaring it plus the other feature and I'm squaring uh, taking the square root um, and if I have many I'll just you just keep on doing this, this is why it's a it's a um, in array um, so um, I uh, accumulate those distances so it's not in order and then the only reason I have numpy over here is to sort uh, those distances so I'm sorting them and I want to get the argument of where were they in the original distance um, array and that's it and after that I just append all of the I'll append this neighbor into the, the the neighbor array over there for each neighbor they will have an array in it um, and I just sort I uh, just take the sorted index over here from 0 to the number of neighbor over there that I need um, so if it's 1 I just take the first guy if it's 15 I'm taking the first 15 and I'm, I'm putting it over here um, so for each X that I'm giving I will have a 15 array or a 1 array um, yeah that's pretty much that and that's giving me the right number so um, it's not very a difficult algorithm to grasp um, there are the only kind of uh, um, um, a specificity that will, will happen is that here you don't need to have Euclidean distance you can have the Manhattan distance you can have um, many kind of distances and um, so this what will swap um, when you you uh, you use different kind of uh, of uh, a distance metric uh, so that's it i hope that you uh, enjoyed this video if you have any comment just put it into the comment section and this code is available on my github so have a great day